hello everyone it's lola here i welcome you back to my kitchen so today we are going to be making these amazing sausage rolls they are super easy to put together and as you know this crust is one of the most important things when making sausage rolls so i'm going to be showing you how to make my own version of the crust which is a little different from the you know store-bought ones but i tell you once you try this you might not want to go back to the store-bought ones again so let's go ahead and put everything together. I'm going to start by making the sausage roll pastry. Here I've got my flour. It's about two cups of flour. And a little bit of salt. Two tablespoons of sugar. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my butter. Um, here I've got my butter. I've already cut them into small chunks and I kind of froze them for about 10 minutes just to keep them hard and firm. And mind you, the colder your butter, the better your pastry you know, appears. So this step is very important. Make sure the butter is cold and firm. So next I'm just going to process this with my food processor. So once everything has come together nice and good, I'm going to go ahead and add my cold water. Can you see this? We still have a little bit of chunks of butter here and there, but that is just fine. You don't want to go beyond this. So at this point, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and add my cold water. Go ahead and add a little bit at a time and mix the dough together. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to use my hands to kind of work this for about a few seconds. You don't want to overwork this. You just want to make sure that the any leftover flour is just you know well incorporated inside the dough. And basically that's what we're doing. My dough is all done, nice, soft. Can you see that? So I'm just going to go ahead at this point and I'll be putting this inside my Ziploc. I'll be leaving it in the fridge for about 20 minutes or thereabouts while I prepare the filling for the sausage roll. Moving on, I'm going to be working on my sausage and here I've got a pound of bulk sausage. Now if you can't find the bulk sausage, go ahead and buy the ones in the casing. Just pop them out of the casing. It's all well and good. So to this, I'm going to be adding my spices. I'm going to list the, all the spices I have used today in the description box, so be sure to check that out. And my minced onions. I minced these onions, as you can see. So that, I'm going to be adding some breadcrumbs. I'm using plain breadcrumbs. So just go ahead and use a fork or your fingers to massage all these ingredients inside the meat. If fork we get the work done, but I think <laughs> the fingers will get it, you know, done better and faster. Okay, so this is well mixed together and it's now time to move on to the next step. So here we go. Our dough is cold and chilled. Let's go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of flour on the work surface. You don't want to use too much flour, it little goes a long way, otherwise you are going to mess with the texture of the dough. So just go ahead and roll this out into a thin sheet. All right, so I tried to shape this into kind of a rectangle as much as I can. I'm not perfect, but I think this is just good enough for me. So I'll just go ahead and slice this into two equal parts. Then I'm going to grab my meat, divide that into two as well. I think this is equal. <laughs> so just go ahead, grab one part of the meat Put that on your sausage dough and spread it out. You want to make sure it covers the length of 
the dough. So I'm now going to go ahead and cover this meat with the dough. Now we are going to have a little bit of dough left over at this side. So what we are going to do is just to brush that with some egg wash. Then cover it up finally. Basically that is it. Make sure it's well sealed. And there we have it. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for the second half. Right now I'm just going to go ahead and divide this into, let's see, I don't know, let's just continue cutting it. I think these sizes are just perfect for me. So I'll just go ahead and arrange that inside my parchment lined sheet. As you can see, this is arranged but it's not too close together. This is how you want to keep it so everything can be able to bake individually well and you know golden brown and crisp. So before I put this inside the oven, I'll go ahead and brush it one more time with the egg wash. Be generous with this. You want the crust to be really golden brown and shiny. So don't be shy. Go ahead, brush it up. I finished it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and place this in our 375 degrees preheated oven. And I'm going to be baking it for about 30 to 35 minutes until it's looking golden brown and well done. So, here we go. So here we go guys, our sausage rolls are all done. They are so very hot right now. So we are just going to leave them to cool for about a few minutes. I would just like to show you how this looks like on the inside. Isn't this looking good? You see that? Nice. And it tastes just as good. Hmm. So good. So that is it guys. As you can see, this is pretty easy to put together. The crust is very flaky and soft and very rich. I'm pretty sure you're going to like this when you give it a try. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy.